Public policy implementation is a set of activities that the government undertakes to achieve the goals and objectives set out in the government's policy statements. In this video, we aim to provide guidelines on how governments and other stakeholders can improve their public policy implementation. We will also discuss why some public policies fail. Welcome back to Public Administration 101, proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust. This video forms part of our series in public policy process, where we explain the public policy process in a simplified form. By looking at the five phases of the public policy process, which are problem identification, agenda setting, policy formulation, policy implementation, and policy evaluation. So, should you wish to understand more about the public policy process and the various types of public policies, please check out these videos under our channel. In this video, we will discuss public policy implementation by first providing an overview and a background on public policy and the various steps in the public policy process. We will then define what we mean by policy implementation. We will then list the key role players in the process of policy implementation and then discuss the four approaches to policy implementation. We will then list some of the factors affecting policy implementation as well as discuss why some public policies fail. We will then conclude by providing our guidelines to a successful policy implementation. Now, let us get into today's video. As an introduction, let us first provide you with an overview of the public policy process by first defining what public policy is. A public policy is a course of action by world leaders, politicians, lawmakers, regulators, government officials, and other stakeholders to address the needs of the citizens or even resolve an issue of public concern and may also be used to set an agenda. Public policies are essentially developed and implemented to meet certain goals. There are various steps in the public policy process which involve identifying the problem, setting the agenda, developing and formulating the actual policy, implementing the policy, and once such public policy has been implemented, it must be monitored and evaluated. In this particular video, we will focus on policy implementation. So, what is policy implementation? Policy implementation can be defined as the fourth stage in the policy process which occurs immediately after the public policy has been developed and drafted. Generally speaking, policy implementation is a series of activities undertaken by the government and others to achieve the goals and objectives articulated in the policy statements of the government. Essentially, policy implementation is when various stakeholders in the policy process work together to bring the adopted public policy into effect in an effort to achieve the goals and objectives of the public policy. In this next section, we discuss the various key role players in the process of policy implementation. There is a wide range of people and organizations that can be involved in policy implementation. This will depend on the level of the authority required for such policy and the type of policy to be implemented. The various key role players in the process of public policy implementation may include the regulator, government officials, and most importantly, the general public. Each of these role players play a different but important role in the process of policy implementation. The regulators, represented by the legislature, are responsible for determining the regulations in accordance with the legislation. Government officials are the primary implementers of public policy. They are therefore responsible for implementing the various aspects of the public policy. 
the public also plays a critical role in the process of policy implementation. They often do this by lobbying their representatives in the legislature or in council to support or reject certain policies. This is normally done through a process of public participation. Elections are also part of playing a role in the public policy process, where the public are afforded an opportunity to choose leaders based on their policy agenda. In this next section, we discuss the four approaches to policy implementation. These four approaches are top-down approach, bottom-up approach, managerial approach, and principal agent approach. We will now discuss each of these approaches briefly. Top-down approach. This approach is when policies are set at higher levels of politics and then communicated to subordinate levels who are charged with the technical, managerial, and administrative role of putting such policy into practice. The bottom-up approach sees policy implementation as an interactive process involving policy makers, implementers from various levels of government, as well as lower-level administrators, such as frontline staff. The managerial approach is a business-like model with an emphasis on efficient techniques of implementation. And lastly, the principal-agent approach recognizes the relationship between principals, who are those who define policy, and agents, represented by those who implement policy. This approach is market-driven. It also recognizes decentralized process. Furthermore, the approach is a paradigm shift from the hierarchy to participation and teamwork. Public policies are influenced by a variety of factors. In this next section, we discuss the various factors which may affect policy implementation. These factors include public opinion, economic conditions, new scientific discoveries, and technological changes. Other factors which may affect policy implementation include interest groups, non-governmental organizations, business and economic lobbyists, as well as other political activity. There are many reasons for policy failures. In this next section, we look at some of the challenges of policy implementation and why some public policies end up failing. The first reason that could lead to policy failure is the fact that there could be little or no basis for implementing such a policy. This means that policy makers may have rushed into developing and implementing a policy without performing proper research on the challenges faced by the public. The lack of research could also lead to poor understanding of the objectives of the policy, as well as disagreement on how implementation should be done. The next reason for policy failure could be as a result of opposition from key stakeholders, such as opposition parties, lobby groups, community-based organizations, and even the public. This opposition could lead to delays in the implementation of the policy, or even result in the policy being abandoned. The next barrier to policy implementation could be as a result of insufficient human resources or insufficient financial resources which may be allocated to the policy being implemented. This lack of adequate time and sufficient resources may have a negative impact on the quality of the policy to be implemented and result in the policy incorrectly being implemented. The next reason for why some policies fail is that there could be a lack of clarity on the operational guidelines or roles and responsibilities for implementation. If the implementation plan is not clear on who and how the policy should be implemented, it could lead to the failure of such policy. The next reason that could lead to policy failure is that the policy might be in conflict with other existing public policies. Policy conflicts are common and often force policy makers to accept the need for trade-offs. This could lead to some of the policy objectives not realized. 
Therefore policy makers often need to decide, exactly on which objectives should be compromised, for the greater good, of other policy objectives. If there is lack of coordination, and collaboration, between the various stakeholders, responsible for the implementation of the policy, this could also result in, policy failure. The next reason, for why some policies fail is, the lack of political will. This will result in, the lack of resources being allocated. Or even creating an unfriendly environment. In the next section, we discuss the eight guidelines, on how to implement, a successful policy. But before we get into that, we would like to remind you, to please check out our other videos on public administration, under this channel. Also remember to show us your support, by subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to like this video, for more videos. Now back to today's video. In conclusion, here are 8 factors, to ensure successful policy implementation. When developing public policies, elected officials, politicians, and government officials, must consult with all relevant stakeholders. Particularly those who are positioned, to work with the policy regularly. Public policies that are adopted, need to be tailored to the needs of the organization. Not just lifted straight from a generic manual. All guidelines and provisions, must be set out in a clear and plain language. The obligations outlined in the policy, must further be detailed enough, to ensure that, people and organizations responsible for executing the policy, are able to understand, exactly what is expected of them. There is no point in adopting a policy, which aspires to the best practice possible, if the organization cannot realistically adopt, what is set out. Therefore, policy makers need to make sure that, the public organization has the time, resources, and personnel, to implement the policy. Public policies must also be in writing, and widely publicized. Elected officials, politicians, and government officials, have a responsibility to provide adequate supervision, and training, to all stakeholders involved, in the policy. Public policies should also be reiterated, and regularly discussed with stakeholders, to ensure that, they remain aware of the importance, and advantages, of the policies. Elected officials, politicians, and government officials, should also ensure that, the policies which are implemented, are applied in a consistent manner. Consequences of any deliberate breach should be monitored, and transgressors must appropriately be punished, for any breach of provisions contained in the policy. Public policies must also be reviewed periodically, to ensure that policies remain relevant, and effective. Regular reviews, will also ensure that, changes in circumstances, will be factored into any amendments, of the policy. We've come to the end of this video, on public policy implementation. So, thank you for watching. Remember that, you can continue the conversation, by leaving us a comment, below this video. Or you can follow us, on social media. At Consult Kano. Or tag us, using the hashtag, Consult Kano. Thank you again for watching. Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust.